can help you maintain a healthy weight and live a healthier lifestyle. Mm. Hello and welcome to Mental Health Monday where we talk about advocacy, resources, and ending the stigma associated with mental health. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be talking about exercise and mental health. Now, I know you hear so many people say exercise is good for you, but today we're going to talk about just how good for you. So we know there are subtle benefits of exercise, right? Like they give you more energy, help you be more focused, it helps you sleep better at night, it helps you feel more relaxed, and it helps improve your cognitive function. And it can help you live a healthier lifestyle and maintain a healthy weight. We all know the physical benefits of exercise and that's great, but what are the benefits of exercise on your mental health? Exercise can be extremely grounding. It can help ground you in the present moment while you're in the middle of exercise, whether that be you're doing chair boxing, yoga, weight training, aerobics, running, any type of exercise that you're doing is going to help really ground you in the present, which is great for your mental health. Other than keeping you grounded, exercise actually helps you build your brain. It reduces inflammation and it helps release endorphins that can help decrease depression, anxiety, and other PTSD and trauma symptoms. Studies show that running for 15 minutes a day or walking for an hour can reduce the risk of depression up to 26%. Now exercise is also a great way to connect yourself back into your body. There is a thing called mind to muscle where you put your mind to your muscle and you can actually hone in on the different parts of your body. And this can really help ground us in the present, especially if we have body related trauma. Exercise can be a huge, huge way to help move that trauma out of your body and into a state of safety. Also, just getting your body moving finishes the stress cycle. When you're stressed out, your body is tense. You're all so getting that exercise and moving through all of that stress and that tension that you feel can actually calm your body down and help you move to a more relaxed state. Now obviously adding in something completely new to your routine like exercise can be really really stressful. Exercise doesn't have to be stressful. We know that incorporating things into our already existing routine is the most beneficial way to have something work for us. So a few tips on getting started. If you're not the most exercisey person, that's not what I'm trying to say. If you're just starting out incorporating an exercise routine or you're just starting out getting comfortable with exercise, there's a few tips we have for you today. First off, you want to start small. You don't wanna just run into exercising every single day and overwhelm your body. Obviously, when we struggle with mental health issues, incorporating something new is always a struggle, so start small. Whether that's walking for five minutes a day, whether that's doing four push-ups a day, whatever that looks like for you, start small. And as you start small and build your way up, getting into that routine and exercising more will become easier and easier and easier as you practice and get into that routine. Another tip would be to schedule your workouts when you have the most energy during the day. So for me, I have the most energy in the morning, so I like to do yoga when I wake up. Maybe for you, that looks like after lunch, after work, or at the end of the day. Whatever your schedule looks like, work with it to when you have the most energy so you can really utilize that energy to your advantage. Exercise, as well as much other things, are not one size fits all, so it's really, really important that you focus on activities you enjoy. Maybe that's jump roping, maybe that's kicking a soccer ball, maybe it's playing basketball or dancing, Dancing. Whatever that looks like for you, focus on that. It doesn't have to be weightlifting, it doesn't have to be running, it could be whatever works for you. The most important thing is that you are comfortable in your workout, in your routine, and what you're doing. That is really, really, really integral to the workout process is that you're comfortable in your body, you're not pushing yourself too hard or doing things that make you feel uncomfortable. It's really important to reward yourself after you're working out as well because it can be a big feat for a lot of us. So make sure to celebrate yourself after you're done working out, whether that be with a little dance, maybe a healthy smoothie, or just calling somebody and saying, hey, guess what I did, and letting them celebrate with you. Which moves on to our next point is, it's a lot more beneficial when you get social with exercise. It's a lot easier, it helps us maintain connection, and it really, really helps us maintain that routine if we have another person holding us accountable that we can hold accountable as well. Community is the route to connection. So lean on your care team as well to help you in your exercise journey. But most importantly, have fun. Working out doesn't have to be a chore, it doesn't have to be a job, it can just be fun. So have fun with working out, find things that you like, find things that you enjoy, and really have fun with it. That's the best way you can feel comfortable, get in tune with your body, and really, really keep a steady routine in working out. As always, do your own research to see the benefits exercise can have on your mental health. 
and reach out to your care team, consult with your doctors, and make sure that exercise is something that's going to be beneficial for you. And we want to send a special shout out to our registered dietitian here, Maria, for giving us all of this helpful information. She really, really came through for us, and she is a great resource you can use. Check out her online classes at recoverycenterhc.org, and we will see you next week for Mental Health Monday.